In this training mission, we will cover the primary shipboard procedures for the AV-8B Harrier, including short takeoff and case one recovery. As you can see, we are starting in a cold aircraft, as the first thing we are going to do is the INSC alignment used on the boat. Go ahead and proceed with the startup and halt when your engine is running and you would normally conduct the INS alignment. Make sure to ask for the ground power as deck crew will also connect the deck cable used to communicate with a ship internal navigation system, or SINs. your EHSD page on the left in PCD. Now select data with push button 2 and then AC with push button 16. Enter your current latitude followed by the enter button. Press ODU button 1 and enter your longitude. When ready, press enter. OK, verify that the parking brake is on and place the INS knob in C position. On the ODU, you should see a couple of new options, deck, which is currently colonized tells you that the deck cable is connected. COM1 and COM2 are used if the cable is not available, in which case you can use your onboard radios to communicate with the ship's own INS. On the MPCD, you have the standard information, qual not OK, and the timer counting up below it. The whole alignment process should take around 3 minutes. You may place the INS mode selector knob to nav at any time after the alignment quality number drops below 3.0. When OK is displayed, you may place the INS mode selector knob in nav or IFA. Normally, once you are aligned on the deck, the deck crew will display a tote board containing the following information. Type of takeoff, distance from nozzle rotation line, required trim, nozzle setting, wet or dry takeoff, and your aircraft's weight. For this takeoff, the information should look like this. Please note it down.
Now complete normal takeoff checks. Make sure to turn anti-skid off, select radar altimeter, and set the stow stop lever to correct position. Remember to switch nav to IFA once the alignment has completed. Time for one finger check. You don't need to set the NRAS as you will rotate the nozzles at the rotation line. Check the pitch carrots and set the stabilizer trim to the briefed value. Good, now time for a two-finger acceleration check. Bring the engine to 60%, check that the acceleration time is within the limits, place nozzles at stow stop and conduct duct pressure, nozzles, and flap checks. When satisfied, place the nozzles back at 10 degrees. You are now ready for the short takeoff. The procedure is very similar to the short base version, with a main difference. You rotate the nozzles when your front wheel is on the nozzle rotation line at the front of the ship. A small forward stick check may be required to stop the pitch rate and maintain an attitude between the pitch carrots and 5 degree pitch bar. Don't pull the nose off the deck. Transition into a wingboard flight in an accelerating transition, turn left 10 degrees and continue straight for 5 nautical miles keeping below 500 feet AGL. Once there, turn to waypoint 1 and climb out to 3,000 feet.
Once you get to waypoint 1, anchor there. Since it is pretty far away, once you get to 3,000 feet, engage the AFC, and we will go through the basics on the way. Don't forget to switch into the nav mode. So, for the recovery, we will cover the initial contact, Delta and Marshall pattern, and then the Case 1 recovery itself. First, some terminology that will be useful for this lesson. Mother is your parent vessel. Father is her take-in. Charlie is the time at which you should be crossing the deck edge during recovery. When coming back to the ship after a mission, you will first contact air traffic control and state your position with regard to father, altitude, lowest fuel state, and any remaining ordnance. The Amphibious Air Traffic Control Center, or ATCA, will get back to you with the following information. Delta or Marshall instructions. Altimeter setting. Wind. Weather. BRC. Clearance to enter control area and any other important information. Open your kneeboard on the Delta page. Delta is a standard VFR pattern overhead the ship with left-hand turns used for Case 1 operations. While flying it, you should remain within 5 DME of the boat. 